Tyler Burnett at the Chili Bowl Midget Nationals here with Kevin Swindell, who owns cars in the Chili Bowl. On Wednesday, Sammy Swindell finished fifth in his prelim. Thursday night, Logan CV runs. Not a bad run for the dad. Yeah, it was good. You know, we've uh, we've been all over the map here the last couple of years trying to get him a little more comfortable and, and change to the uh, the stand motors has kind of put us a little bit in a different ballpark from what we used to do. So uh, I think we finally got a lot better last night, and hopefully it carries over Logan tonight. What's it been like to work with Logan so far? Obviously, he hasn't raced yet, but in hot laps, everything else, is he a pretty bright mind and, and takes to the cars pretty well? Yeah, he's been good. You know, we got to run the, the dome with him, and, uh, and that racetrack was a little kind of a mess, so it, it didn't learn a whole lot there. But, uh, you know, got used to working together, and, and me and him have been friends for a while, so get along pretty well. And, uh, you know, hopefully what we, what we learned last night, it'll, it'll be able to carry over to his car and, uh, you know, have a good night. Since your accident, you've grown a massive brand with the Swindell Speed Lab. You guys have so much, um, you know, stuff that you're selling, and it's there's cool clothing and everything else. Have you had fun doing this stuff and, and doing, like, the media side of things and, and working on driving content to people? Yeah, it's been fun. You know, uh, you know, started with, with kind of just a, a sticker to play around with and, and thought we were going to be a full-time race team, and then... Uh, you know, it became kind of enough to really become a job. And, and now we brought in the, the Bell and the K1 brands and started to do a lot of social media and, and kind of consulting and management things for, for other teams and brands. So, uh, you know, having fun with it, you know, and really trying to help grow the sport as a whole. And, uh, you know, I, I've always loved watching and, and getting seeing in-car cameras and all that stuff. So being able to bring that to the masses has been fun for me. When watching the racing this week, have you, what th things have you noticed? I mean, they obviously changed the track after night two. Is that something that intrigues you, like going to the iRacing scans and seeing how they what they did to the track and resurfaced it? Yeah, we talked about it, you know, right off the bat Monday. Was it just it didn't look right? You know, you could see from the eye, it just they looked narrow in places and, and didn't seem like it raced, you know, correctly. And, um, you know, you could normally you don't get this place to where the top wins when it's on the fence. And the top was so much better those first couple of nights. So um, I guess it's a good thing that we had the scans to be able to go back to those measurements because obviously last night was a way better race overall. So uh, excited for the rest of the week. And you know, I think Tony and those guys got a better handle on it now and, and what it needs. So uh, it should be really good the next three nights. Kevin Swindell, a car owner now, also has a very good brand in Swindell Speed Lab. Check him out everywhere you can find him on social media, content, everywhere else. A great guy. For Sage Fruit, I'm Tyler Burnett. Sage Fruit is an exceptional eating experience.